Hi guys, this is Morat from mgtoots.com and in this video for new beginners in AutoCAD, I'm gonna show you basic elements of AutoCAD interface. A lot of new beginners terrifying when see a lot of menus, buttons, icons in a workspace of AutoCAD and that's why I recorded this video to explain basic elements of AutoCAD. So let's begin. Every time when you will load AutoCAD, you will see this start window where you can start new drawing open file see recent opening documents and notification and connect to a 360 service online service this is a cloud service for aftercard let's click on start drawing and open new drawing this is default interface of aftercard and let's begin to review some elements of aftercard let's begin from top left side and in the top left side we can see big A uh, icon of AutoCAD and when we will click on it we will see basic menu of AutoCAD here we can create new element open save import export publish and a lot of different things and uh, on the right side we can see this recent open document you, you can see uh, it's writing here and let's close it and the right side of, of menu we can see quick menu here we can find most frequently used commands like open save create new print and another elements we can add and delete some icons from this menu and on the right side we can find documentation search sign in into aftercut and aftercut uh, help menu on the bottom side we can see their menu every item of menu has its own tool ribbon right here as you can see right now we are on a home tab and on a home tab we can find basic elements we are using very frequently if we will switch between menus we can find different elements different tool group it under menu by the functionality and on the bottom side we can see windows switcher and that's make easy to be switch between windows because in old versions we should use uh, some button on keyboard to switch between windows this option make it easy and uh, on the right side we can see plus icon if you will click on it we will create new document right like this on the bottom side this white space and probably maybe you have black space this is workspace uh, we can change color of workspace to any color what we wish we are drawing right here and on the right side of your workspace you will see cube this cube is navigate cube and as we are right now in 2d drawing we can see on a, only one side of this cube and as you can see look in the workspace from top side and on the bottom side we can see here a command line results of all command we can see in the command panel also we can enter our command into command panel and and call there by name especially good because we don't need to switch between menus and find that menu icon if you know command name we can enter here and call that command and the bottom side we can see model and layout switcher between them if we are drawing something in model we can print it right here but it's not easy because aftercut workspace is very big and if we are drawing something very big to print it we use layouts layouts can be different sizes but right now it's, this is a uh, a1 standard paper size we can create any kind of layouts and uh, on the right side this is a tool that helping us to draw fast and easy way here you can see a lot of elements and in the future's video we will uh, review all these elements this is not all elements click on the right side right here you will see You will see menu and we can add them or hide another element i want to show you how you can switch between styles and if you will click on this icon you can see here have uh, right now we are drafting an annotation this is 
workspace for 2D drawing as you can see all elements here for 2D drawing but you can switch between a standard offered workspaces like draft and annotation 3D basics, 3D elements and AutoCAD classic also you can create your own workspace style as I my workspace I switch to my workspace and you can put any menus anywhere customize your workspace to make workspace more easy to use and more flexible this is the basic elements of AutoCAD just try to use if you are complicated don't worry just after a few time you'll get familiar with these elements and you will see that there is nothing hard and complicated in AutoCAD interface thanks for watching please visit to mgtoots.com and join to our community forum where you can ask and answer questions get points and earn badges thanks for watching bye